Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Emma. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Kiara with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Friday, October 6, 2023. We are wrapping up week, week of respect. And today, if you see people in blue, they are showing their support for being an upstander. This week has been about showing each other's each other and ourselves respect. Remember to post your pictures on social media with the hashtag SVHS Week Respect. Speaking of respect and diversity, get ready for a night to celebrate Hispanic culture during National Hispanic Heritage Month. Seoul and Sociedad are having their second annual Hispanic Heritage Night. It is on Wednesday, October 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. There will be food, performers, music, and more. If you want a table or are interested in performing, talk to Felipe the President or Mr. Gelsby. Bring your cash to purchase food. And to celebrate Hispanic Heritage, next week we will be having a Spirit Week. On Monday, it will be Staff Development Day, so attention all staff. Get your slides with socks as it will be Chancla Day. Then Tuesday, show your support for your favorite team because it is Jersey Day. Wednesday is Bancaro Day, so you will need to you will need your cowboy hats, boots, and buckles. Then Thursday, we are celebrating co all cultures, so show off your culture to the school. Then Friday, we are having our own Quintanilla Day, so complete. So wear your ties and tiaras. We hope you dress up and help us celebrate that diverse culture we have here at Spring Valley. As we said, Monday is a staff development day. So a very important reminder, you do not come to school on Monday, Grizzlies. When you come back to school, it will be a B-Day. So enjoy the long weekend. Hey, Emma, what clubs are meeting today? There are a lot of fun clubs having fun today after school. Fossey will be holding their karaoke contest today, and they will be in a new room, in room 223. The contest will start at 2 p.m. and is now open for those who are interested in signing up. The top three winners will have a chance to win prizes made by the board, which includes a Jolly Bee-themed plush for first place. Or you can always just sign up for fun. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to their Instagram account, SPVFASU, and find the link for their form in the bio. Make sure to sign up ASAP, and we will hope to see you all there. Halloween season is on its way, and some clubs on campus are hoping you will help them get into the spirit of the spooky holiday. Today, after school and next Friday, Fashion and Fiber Arts will join together to create patchwork designs, embroider Halloween designs, spooky bracelets, and more. We will be meeting in room 832 at 2 p.m. to kick off the Halloween season with our spooky crafts. Hope to see you there. Along with Fashion and Fossil Club, Gaming Club is meeting in the library, where they play everything from board games to video games. And Chinese Club meets today in room 205, Japanese Club meets in room 207, and Korean Club meets in room 207. Spanish Honor Society will meet again next Friday. All meetings start at 2.01 p.m. Get out there and explore some new clubs you can join. This countdown is on for homecoming. Grab a dance partner or some friends because homecoming tickets are now available. The tickets are only $25 and are available online through Ticket Spicket. Tickets are limited, so get them while you can. If you want a guest for homecoming, make sure to stop by room 908. Sales will end when they are all sold out, or by October 20th. At 3 p.m., and dance guest passes will need to be submitted by October 17th. And today is the last day to have to sign up to be involved in the homecoming parade. This year, all of our school's clubs, sports teams, and departments are invited to participate in the homecoming parade to make it an unforgettable event. It's an excellent opportunity for your group to showcase their enthusiasm, creativity, and school spirit. The parade will be a fun-filled experience for both participants and spectators alike. If your club or sports team is interested in participating, make sure to fill out the participation form through the QR code on screen. The final day to add your group to the list is October 6th. The homecoming parade will take place on October 20th. And today is the last day to sign up to battle out for the homecoming football game with the teachers. Fill out the Google form on screen to sign up. Sign-ups will close on October 6th, and the 13th students will be randomly selected. The game will take place on October 18th at 2 p.m. Colleges are back on campus this week. Today, Case Western University in Cleveland, Ohio, will be here during first lunch. And coming up next week, Southern Utah University will be back on campus on Thursday and Friday. On Thursday, they will be here during second lunch, and on Friday during first lunch. 
If you sign up for the ACT boot camp, it starts today after school. This year, the ACT testing will be February 27th. The boot camp to prepare you will be today through Sunday. Joining the boot camp will improve your score from 3 to 7 points on average. Keep that in mind that ACT is mandatory and will be taken in the spring. The boot camp is $199, but to get that price, you must enter coupon Go Grizzlies at checkout. To sign up, scan the QR code on screen and go to ACT courses. Best of luck to all those taking the test this year. Seniors, your formal senior pictures are coming up. On October 16th and 17th, these photos will take place during your English class, just like regular picture day. For your formals, you are required to wear a dressy black dress shirt, or you can wear the black tux or drape provided by Dorian Studios. If you choose to wear your own outfit, it must be in school dress code, or your formal senior photo will not be included in the yearbook. It is free to take your senior portrait, but you have the option of paying an additional fee to take multiple poses and choose which photo goes in the yearbook. For $20, you can take two photos and choose your yearbook photo. And for $30, you can take 44 poses and choose your yearbook photo. The cost to purchase printed copies is additional. English teachers will pass out these order forms in the week before picture day. See Ms. Verderosa in room 213 for any questions. Hey, Aubrey, what's going on with sports this week? Let's look into the games, the sports games we have this week. Tonight we have varsity football playing Palo at 6. And looking ahead to next week, even though we have Monday off, our staff development day. Girls soccer is playing here at home against Silverado with varsity at 4.30 and JV at 6. And our girls volleyball will be playing Coral at Cat with B team at 4, JV at 5, and varsity at 6. Then on Tuesday, boys soccer will be playing at Valley with JV at 4.30 and varsity at 6. And Cross Country will have a meet at SECTA starting at 3.30. Good luck to our Grizzly athletes, and be sure to come out and support your fellow Grizzlies. Want to be ready for our pink out games? Student Council has what you need. Your breast cancer awareness Spring Valley t-shirt. You could grab yours for $10. Pay at the banker. 100% of the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. Go help and support your pink and wear your pink shirts. Hey, Caitlin, how's the weather looking this weekend? Grizzly, this weekend's weather will be a high of the 90s and the low of the 60s. Today's weather will be a high 89 and a low of 65. Hey, Grizzlies, want to have a fun way to spend the first Friday of the month every month with your family? Well, the nonprofit First Friday have the solution for you. On the first Friday of each month, you and your family can go to an art district in the downtown area. They showcase all different interior interi interi iterations of art, such as music, dance, and paintings. They also have a wide arrangement of food vendors that you can purchase food from there. As well, it is free to enter. Hope you see you there to see Grizzlies. Now back to you at the desk. Grizzlies, today is the day where you can redeem your Minga points. Every Friday on both lunches, you can finally exchange them for rewards such as stress balls, raffles, school spirit days, stickers, and more. Check out all the rewards on Minga or look for a sign posted in all classroom. Halloween has us thinking about chocolate and now you can grab some from groups around campus. Journalism students are selling world's finest chocolates in all your favorite flavors. Caramel, milk, dark, almond, wafer, and crisp. See any journalism students or Miss Rosa in room 213 and get your chocolate fix. Or you can support our Grizzly Dance team in raising money. They'll be selling chocolate covered pretzels for $1, and they will also be selling chocolate tier chocolate bars for $1 as well. If you're interested in purchasing some chocolate, find a dance suit around campus and go support our Grizzly dancers. Have you bought flag football sour jack gummies? These gummies come in two different flavors, sour neon worms and watermelon sour wedges. They're selling for only $2. Find a girls flag football member around school during any time of the day to get your candy. This was Emma, Aubrey, and Kiara of, of the, the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have a fantastic